Today, it caught up with David Bowie. It's his 40th birthday, but then Bowie is a member of that band of Peter Pans, including Cliff Richard, Mick Jagger and Paul McCartney, who've remained at the top of a distinctly precarious business, despite the onset of middle age. Perhaps that's because he's not just a singer, he's also a writer, an actor, and a deliberate trendsetter. But first and foremost, he's a man of music. Now 40 years old, he's had exactly 40 hits. His first number one was 17 years ago, as the world was still celebrating the first man on the moon. Ground control Nine. to Major Tom. Eight. Seven. Six. Commencing Five. countdown engines on. Three. Two. Check ignition One. and may God's love Lift be on. with you. Um, I think I think in his own way that uh, uh, David Bowie has been as influential on the last decade and a half or two decades of music as the Beatles were when when they formed and first came to light. Um, I don't think you'd be having half the bands um, playing the type of music they're playing just now if it wasn't for David Bowie. He's always on the spot when things are happening. He's a kind of a culture sponge. He's always going around, uh, like whereas other, other rock people, they stay in their hotel room when they're on tour. David puts on a disguise and he goes to the clubs and he finds out what's going on. And he's got an amazing way of amalgamating all the things that are about to happen. He goes and finds these little pockets of uh, weirdo culture going on all, of, all over the world. And suddenly he, it, he, he makes it famous, he makes it popular. But he's definitely his own man. And Bowie was his own man from an early age. Just 17 and still plain David Jones, he was speaking out as founder of the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Long-Haired Men. Well, I think we're all fairly tolerant, but for the last two years we've had uh, comments like, darling, and uh, can I carry a handbag thrown at us? I think it's just had to stop now. But if his appearance seemed outrageous then, it was nothing to what followed. Enter the weird extraterrestrial Ziggy Stardust, the first and most famous of the characters he created. Yet none of them lasted long, and the man who produced the bulk of his work knows the reason why. I think it's a combination of being bored and also David is one of the most intelligent people I know. He's not your average rock and roll musician. He's not a thicko at all. He's, uh, he's quite intelligent and uh, he's just like he's got a thirst to go on to the next thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. David Bowie. But in 1983, Bowie made a series of decisions which stunned many of his fans. He went overtly commercial, a new record company and a new album, Let's Dance. That music reeked of commercialism to me. That, that's maybe the thing you're talking about. That's the first time he I think he made a major step towards commercialism. Consequently, it, although it was he reached more people, to me it wasn't a very satisfying album. There's a gradual shift, I mean, when you reach mid-30s. Uh, I think that there's a period where you have to decide not to try and grasp frantically for the feelings of uh, desperation and anger that you have when you're in your mid-twenties. Parallel with his singing has been his acting, though with one exception, he's been nothing like as successful. I don't need any help. I've practiced walking for years. Only one of his films so far has received widespread approval from people and pundits alike. I don't need that. I wasn't surprised that Bowie was very good in, in Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. I was looking forward to it. We'd all been waiting for it. Uh, he'd even referred to himself in the past at some point as the cracked actor. Uh, I think we would love to see him in, in more roles where the persona that uh, he can project can come through. But unfortunately, he either they haven't been written or he doesn't seem to find them. So although he, he is a very daring artist to date, uh, one sees that his greatest success comes when he's on his own, when he's self-contained and doing his bit in his own. Uh, musicians carrying on uh, in, in, their, in their sort of middle age, uh, trying to 
trying to write and compete with with uh, younger guys in the, in the music field. But he, so far, as far as I can see, he hasn't um, he hasn't tried to relive his past. He's not trying to be a 20-year-old, unlike some of the other artists who've carried on into their 40s. He's just an all-around entertainer who seems to be growing from strength, strength to strength. I think he's fantastic. Uh, what Bowie will be doing in 20 years' time hasn't been invented yet. Middle-aged at 40, nonsense.